안녕하세요. 양수인입니다. Thanks for the introduction, Han. All right, so I am an architect. Uh, typically, I design and build buildings for clients. But you know, when you're a young architect, almost by default, you're also an art artist, um, you know, whether you want it or not, because you rarely get good commissions to build buildings. So here are my other works. Um, sometimes my works, they draw graphs on the wall based on people's vote. Sometimes it monitors air quality. Sometimes uh, it makes rooms out of moss and recycled plastic. Sometimes it turns noodle soups into newspapers. And I notice, you know, in a lot of my works, there are moments where people talk to my work, they eat under my work, they feed my work, and literally, they eat from my work. So, you know, I never, I never really considered myself as an artist per se, but you know, a lot of these works are referred to as artworks, and when, if that's the case, then I start wondering, what kind of artist am I, and what kind of artwork am I creating, or do I want to create? Um, so, while I was wondering that, last year I got a chance to do a pretty uh, good public uh, installation in the middle of the city. So, the site was Cheonggye Plaza, um, so I was asked to propose something here, uh, right in front. So I googled Cheonggye Plaza, and these images came up of the candlelight protest in 2008, and also our current president's reaction to that, complete lack of any will to discuss anything. This was also at the time when the freedom of press level of Korea was declining to partly free, and when I look at these two images on the right, I felt, you know, both of them are not right because they are too extreme. It's either very explosive or non-existent. So then what I wanted to do was to create a means through which people can communicate and share their ideas through a extraordinary experience, but not in an extreme way. So I created a very simple glass box made out of one-way reflective mirror. That's the kind of mirror you see in spy movies where, uh, you know, in interrogation rooms, you know, it creates uh, both side reflectivity. So it's a small box, you get in there, it lights up inside, and you can leave any message for 10 seconds. And while it's recording, it creates an internal infinite reflection where you are independent from the uh, surrounding of the city. Now, when it's not recording, then it plays the re messages that's been recorded in a loop. And when that's happening, the, the, the sculpture becomes a mysterious box uh, which reflects the city and the people surrounding it. So here it is in action. Volume up, please. So it was on the plaza for about uh, a month, and when on the days when it was on, about 100 people left messages. You know, personal messages, political messages. You know, to friends, celebrities, to JYJ. You know, all sorts of messages. This is one of my favorite, actually. How brave. Okay, give it up for Kyunglag and Sonju, yeah? <laughs> All right, so this project means three things to me. Um, on a, on a personal level or individual level, it's a, it's a platform for free speech. But because the messages are accumulated, uh, you get a glimpse into the collective mindset of Korean people living in this age. But more importantly, it's a positive and additive social game where if you do not like the message you're hearing from the box, then the only thing you can do is for yourself to participate and leave your version of the story to diminish the density or the importance of other messages. So then I come back to these images and I'm realizing maybe you know, what I'm doing is participatory and it's also public, all of them are, and maybe I am interested in that. So I start calling the kind of works I create participatory public art. About public, um, I have a few things that's really important to me. The public art that I am interested in should have very strong social message. It should also respond very directly to local context, political, cultural, or whatnot. But most importantly, it should have a rather direct participatory engagement with the public. You know, in an in a age where uh, on Twitter, thousands of messages are created and shared all over the world every second, 
public art cannot afford to be just a static object to look at. So about participation, there is a recipe that I kind of created, which is if it were to really have good participation, then it should be at a location where people are already willing to participate. So the interaction should be very intuitive, where let's say a mother on a walk with a five-year-old kid should be able to figure out what to do and take a part of it. Now, when she and her kid does something, then there should be immediate feedback. Then, the experience that they get out of should be about them, not about the artist or about the artwork. After going through all of this thought process, I'm really now comfortable uh, being an artist, uh, but specifically participatory public artist. Now, after each other, after about three months, uh, in Cheonggye Plaza, the new mayor, uh, Mayor Park, uh, installed this uh, kind of uh, platform where people can, again, leave their messages and share their messages. The camp, right after the election, actually contacted my project manager, um, and you know, we didn't get to really directly connect, but this happened, and I was really glad about that because, you know, then I started thinking about another uh, meaning of participation where as an anonymous citizen, the way I can participate to my society or to Seoul, the city I love, is for me to vote, to cast one single vote as an anonymous citizen. But, you know, when I'm working as a professional artist, then I feel that my professional work should have at least more impact than what I can do as an anonymous citizen, which is a single vote. And the fact that the platform was created after each NIO, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but I would like to believe that there was a small impact I made in the city or to the city that I love, and that drives me to keep creating the kind of work that I do, participatory public artworks. Thank you.